Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Anima ARPG. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is um, I want to jump into the next zones that we have available at the moment. So we'll go ahead and do that in just a tick. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, speak to our Captain Arvid here. Alright, the beast, new boss quest. That's who we gotta suss out next. So the beast sounds pretty crazy, but we'll um we'll see how we go. And hopefully, you know, once we do find the beast, um we shouldn't have any sort of problems. But anyway, on to the cave. Now, just going through this one today, been mucking around with it as well, and and hopefully this time round I should be okay in terms of how my uh, my player is holding up at the moment. So I have been doing a bit of grinding, I have been doing a bit of mucking about as well in between videos. Um, if you guys had watched the previous video of the boss fight there, you noticed that I wasn't able to defeat the boss without having to use one of the buffs. Um, I actually went through and um, tried him again without the buffs and safe to say that I actually uh, annihilated him without the buffs there. So what I've done so far, now that we've just uh, up, uh, upped our level to 36, let's go ahead and take a look and see what I'm working with at the moment. So as you can see, I've got a few bits and pieces that have been added to my equipment now. Started to use the gems in one of my weapons here, as you can see there. So, um, so I've got plus 18, th uh, 18 to the strength buff there on top of the 161, which is awesome. Um, recently got this and this and that, of course, and also this actually. So yeah, a whole host of new um, armor and equipment weapons and things like that that I have just recently acquired. I'm just going to go ahead and put pop that all into the strength buff there. Wanted to make sure my character is as strong as possible for any sort of future um, uh, boss battles or anything of that nature or anything like that. Anyway, um, but I did enlist a lot into the gambler. So I used um, in excess of about 100,000 coins. Now, tell me in the comments, guys, was that a bad move? Was that something that I shouldn't have done? Um, using a lot of coinage into the gambler to try and get some decent weapons because that's for the majority of the new weapons I've just shown you um, that I've um, well, that I've pretty much got invested in so yeah let me know if that was the right move or not um, where do you guys normally source um, you know your uh, weapons and armor and things like that I'd be interested to know exactly where you guys are getting you know your decent um, uh, resources from now consider this as well is I'm still on R1. I know a lot of you guys are far beyond my level um, and I'm absolutely nowhere near where you guys are uh, you know, currently at at the moment. So put that into perspective as well when, ans uh, when answering the question here. So um, I just want to see where you guys, or what you guys did essentially in your first initial run and what you guys sort of did to you know, increase your players' um, you know, performance overall. So I'd be really interested to know where that sort of came from. But anyway, we, as you can see, I, I feel like that I can sort of flow through this quite easily without any sort of, I don't know, any sort of problem or issue right now. I do tend to try and get a lot of these guys to sort of come in a bit of a horde there so I can... Um, you know, take them all at once and just use some of the um, some of my mana in a more efficient practice, something like that. But I do try and get a little bit more to sort of sort of congregate with me, so sort of try and get his attention at the same time. If there's anyone else about, like this fella here is going to come over. Um, this guy over here, and to be honest with you, are they all there? All right, come on, guys, let's get all of you guys over here as well. 
Um, let's just get everyone in here. Come on, come on, come on. And then now we can just sort of just give a bit of an onslaught here. And yeah, that's what I've sort of been doing now, which is really cool. So I've been able to, you know, start um, pretty much getting hordes and hordes close to me, which I feel that I should start the, the Rift Trials, considering if I can do that quite easily, um, you know, in these type of levels. Um, I'm not too sure. I probably want to make a video just doing the rifts and seeing how well I can sort of um, handle it. Um, never done it before, so I couldn't tell you exactly how well I would go or what to, you know, kind of expect. But for now, um, oh, we got these two guys here, just sort of blocking the way to the next level. I won't go in there just yet. Let's quickly have a bit of a, a dive in everywhere else that I haven't explored so far. Um, actually, I might go up this way. So let's quickly do that. Um, what else have I been up to? So I ended up starting another character as well, and I went for a, um, I think it was a skirmish build to begin with, and I might use um, archery as the uh, secondary, which reminds me, I think I'm ready to do this. So let me know in the comments, guys. I'm doing sorcery. Should I do skirmish or archery? Let me know because I'll be interested to know uh, what you guys come up with and yeah, we'll, we'll sort of take that from there. So what should I be uh, looking at doing? Come on guys, let's get all of you guys over to me. There we go. See, it wasn't really much of a much of a, um, a contest here. Except for you, you, you sort of managed to um, uh, hide. So I don't know what that's about, but that doesn't matter. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I've been using the Gambler a little bit. Um, I used over 100,000 coins, as I said before. Um, like I said, not too sure if it's the right thing to do. Um, not too sure if, whether it's um, level dependent or um, as in like your own level personal, uh, personally, or would it be uh, more in relation to where you are in the campaign mode, I guess, or the story mode for that matter. Um, does it matter based upon that, how far you're sort of progressed um, further into the... Um, uh, into the levels here, or is it purely based on your um, your actual player level? That I'm not too sure of, but I feel like every, every time I sort of either level up or or one or the other, it sort of happens that um, new things can sort of drop. Um, the the trader sort of drops other uh, items here and there depending on um, I guess level. I'm not too sure to be honest with you, so that's where I'm sort of reaching out here to find out any sort of further info, if applicable of course, and if you guys could help me out with that, that'd be great. Um, we've got a little question mark here, so we'll find out what this is all about. Um, I think this is the holy water, cool. So I can go bring that back over to the alchemist and we can get a little bit of a reward from him as well. Purple helmet, very good. So I'm starting to get a lot of these, um, some of these neat little drops as well, and the bag's full. So you know what, uh, let's head back, with that being said. We'll drop a few things off, we'll speak to the alchemist of course, and see um, what he can provide to me, as per the quest completion. Um, Alright, so that's not too bad, 150. I guess that's okay, that doesn't look too bad, but physical goes down. Um... Alright, so I feel like all this is not going to help me anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of most of this for the most part. Okay, the purple helm. Alright, let's see what this does. Okay, so it sort of goes down. So regen is up a little bit on the health bar, and everything else goes down if I put that on. So let's keep that and throw that away. Um this it's not going to help me with my build as it is so I can sort of get away with that let's get rid of that um, all right, what do you do hang on that, that looks no okay this is a slightly better what I'm wearing at the moment that I'll leave alone that can go back 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 goodbye come on I know I should be I should be able to sell all I get that but I've noticed if you have a full bag and you sell pretty much everything, you may get a few, there's a row that's missing here that, and I don't think you can actually scroll or do anything else with that. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, uh, let's see what this does. Uh, that changes my DPS. All right. So that can go. 
Okay, so that was sort of nice and pretty there, but let's uh, get rid of that real quickly. Um, what else do I have here? There's that. There's really nothing of interest here. Like I said, sometimes you do find some pretty uh, decent bits and pieces. So I'm just going to throw these guys in. All right, empty. So we can keep moving on. Uh, let's see what uh, Jarkos has to say. Alright. So we just got a new little, what is this, uh, reset your ability points and statistic points. Okay, um, let's not use that yet because I don't think we're going to be in the position to do that just yet. So we'll get rid of that for now and we'll head back and we'll continue on with the, the quest at hand. So let's go ahead and grab a few of these and let's just continue on. Hey guys, come on guys, Oop, not enough mana, ooh, okay, okay, let's just quickly heal up, okay, all these guys can now can come over to me and still even that, I wasn't really too worried about it whatsoever, which was good, so like I said, beaming a bit of confidence here, I know that, I understand that, but Especially when we get to the boss fights, that's when we're going to sort of find a bit of a bit of a pain and things and so so on and so forth. So the end is just over there. So what I might do is I might just take you out because you're going to follow me. Um, we'll head back up the other way and see if there was any places that we hadn't actually sort of touched with. It's just no. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a bit of an easy one, which is fine because we can go to the third floor quite quickly and we'll just sort of move over a little bit further here we go there we are all right all right who do we have over here hey guys what's going on so yeah I'm starting to get a little bit more confident with the game um, funny enough when I started using my um, my secondary count I started realizing a few things and things that I sort of overlooked when I was playing with this character and I, I guess when you sort of get a second crack at it this is when you start to see things a little bit more um, in a different way and it sort of gives you you know better impressions and hopefully um, you know it will sort of improve you over time so there may have been a few things that you may have you know um, mucked up on or you weren't really uh, ready for I guess so to speak but now that you've sort of gone ahead and done like another character, it sort of works out. So if you sort of invest in that little bit of time, I feel like that's probably a good thing to do. Um, why not? I guess. Why not? Because it's only just going to help you. Yes, it's probably going to take you a little bit of time to sort of you know, build up the next character and do everything else in between. But I feel like it's a good investment, um, especially when you're sort of playing the game, you know, um, on, the, on the lengthy side of things. And you really want to invest a bit of time and effort in. Um, I don't see the harm in doing so. So let's move over to the the next one. So we're sort of going through this pretty quickly, which is really good. So I'm really happy with this. Um, let's see who is in here. Howdy all. Okay. Let's just move over here. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Hello guys, let's see how well I can hold up against these fellas here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I might be ready for the roof trials. We'll see how we go with it. Possibly we might make that the next video. Let's break it up a little bit. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, actually, I'll be doing these back to back. What am I saying? So I probably will end up doing it. So yeah, my recording structure hasn't really changed as well at the same time. Uh, due to what's happening out there, I think we spent a little bit uh, enough time in the video for this not to become an issue from the old YouTube, of course. But hopefully you guys are staying safe inside, indoors with what's happening around the world at the moment. So, um, you know, do your best. Make sure that you guys are, um, 
uh, pretty much on the on the more cleanly side, of course. Uh, make sure that you guys, um, you know, uh, are being distant where possible. You know, if you have to work, you have to work. If you have to go out, you have to go out. Um, any anything that's obviously non-essential, you guys, if you can, that'd be really, really good. Just for my peace of mind that you guys are staying safe. Uh, that's I guess that's all that I really care about is the the health and safety of everyone that's watching my videos at the end of the day. So. Um, hopefully you guys are doing just that um, and yeah hopefully this all will blow over soon enough and we can sort of get back to a regular um, you know just some regular fun and and hopefully we you know it doesn't get as as bad as a, um, as it is at the moment uh, for me at the moment I'm still working I'm still going into work because my work is um, is classed as an essential part of the business and I need to um, go in and for a lot of the um, the systems and programs that I use in my day to day, I have to use them on site. It's, it is doable if I were to you know, start working from home uh, remotely, but it's really not something that they, um, that we've sort of, you know, hit that, um, hit that position where we have to go and start working from home and things like that. So, so far, you know, I still have to go home, uh, still go to work. Work is about an hour away um, each way for me, you know, via train commute. So it does take a bit of time for me to um, travel if I were to do it via car. It's a lot of wear and tear on my car if I do that, if I do drive in every day. It's a bit over 100 kilometers, eight, um, you know, a round trip on a given day. So if you do that five day, five times a week, it's going to be, you know, quite a, quite a lot, especially, you know, trying to maintain your car as well and things like that. So this is that's where I sort of opted to go with um, public transport as my preferred way of getting in. Um, but yes, you know, you still got to stay safe. You still got to do your social distance, uh, distancing and things like that. And um, yeah, so I guess that's just sort of like a mini update as to what I'm doing at the moment with myself. Hopefully you guys are okay. Everyone is safe around you and things like that. Um, but just do the best you can, I guess. And that's all that can really be settled done until you know this all sort of blows over, and then at least we can go back to some some type of um, normal day to day, I guess. Uh, but just on that as well, I know the the devs um, are Italian based as well, which um, you know, unfortunately for them, what's happening in their parts as well is quite um, it's quite significant, quite horrendous, um, and hopefully. If they do end up watching my videos, hopefully they are staying safe as well. Um, they have been working as well. So from what we can see, there was um, a nice little screenshot um, just posted the other day, about a couple of days ago, and it, it exercised a new um, possible uh, a zone. Um, a nice little spiral case. It looks pretty awesome. It's heavily detailed, so hopefully it's in a stage where they might be putting it together from a... Um, from a, a programming point of view, but we, we don't know that just yet. So looks like they're working on it, which is awesome. But hopefully, um, you know, we'll get to see it very soon. That's that's the hope. Um, but any new um, any new um, update is a good update. But I guess at the end of the day, so long as they're safe and they're healthy, that's the that's the most important thing right now. So hopefully they are. Hopefully they they are staying um, safe and they're. You know, and their family and loved ones are also doing the same thing. Um, I guess that's for anyone really at the end of the day. So, yeah. Oh my God, I've already filled up this bag. This is crazy. All right, well, um, let's um, quickly head back and see. While I do that, actually, I may as well uh, repair all. Bit of coin dropped in, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and identify always do a quick check just to see what the weapons are on at the moment um, at this minute really nothing of interest uh, while I here while I'm here actually I usually do a quick look around and see what I'm looking at I don't want to sacrifice DPS because I feel like this is going really good for me at the minute um, if I swap this over what does this do for me okay I would want to hang on to that so that can go what I might do is I might pop that in pop a bit of strength into that um, don't know if I want to do dexterity yet um, but everything else I feel that can possibly go I think yeah that's better 
All right, cool. I think that's everything that's of interest. So we'll just go ahead and drop that. Pop that this fella into here. Got a ton of these gems that are coming um, coming in thick and fast, which is good. So really happy with that. Let's just scoop that up and take you out. So let's see, what else do we have over here? How's our map looking? There's a big chunk of area which I haven't actually located yet. Oh, sorry, gone through. So I don't know whether or not I'm going down the wrong pathway. Probably would be the case, but yes, it is because that's where the exit is located. All right, so what I'll do is let's just quickly get our way back and just sort of cover off that area as well at the same time. So we'll head over and see what's what. I think that was a dead end over here as well if I'm not mistaken. Let's just quickly look around the uh, corner and it was alrighty cool. So hopefully I can get my player over there quickly enough. So yeah I was playing um, a skirmish build and already um, I'm up to the second boss. Got annihilated of course and yeah I did that in a matter of I don't know probably about a couple of hours I think. So it just goes to show that you can really progress quickly in the game if you sort of know what you're doing as well at the same time. I even feel like even if you don't know what you're doing, um, you can still quickly progress through and um, you can get a lot of um, stuff done and accomplish a lot in a, in a really short amount of time. So um, it's the type of game that will do that, which is really good. So it's still very engaging and I feel like once we get to um, the high levels or if we go to like R2, R3, you know, and so on and so forth. I think that's where the grind is really going to become apparent. And I feel like, you know, doing this Let's Play in R1 would be the best play for, um, you know, for myself and everyone else that might be interested in picking up this game and playing it for the first time because you can sort of play, uh, watch it, play along kind of thing as well. And, um, you know, spend a bit of time watching it, spend a bit of time playing it yourselves. And then hopefully that will give you a bit of an ease of balance as well. So, I guess that's what's my that's what my main objective is for this series and then once we sort of get onto you know the heavier nitty-gritty things like that I'll probably spend time doing other bits and pieces and other elements to the game and hopefully you know um, you know things will start to pick up because I know um, ever since the, f the first video that I posted uh, watch times have been a little bit on the uh, smaller end uh, average duration of what time uh, watch time has always been very um, minimal so I get it you know, um, A, it may not be the most popular game at the moment, or B, a lot of people are just wanting to see build videos and things like that, and I can understand that. Um, but I'm, I'm hopeful there's some of you out there that enjoy the whole Let's Play side of things. But let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, we are about to head over to K4, so I think it's a good time to go ahead and leave it here for the minute. Um, so I'm just going to go over into level um, K4, and then we'll port back out and teleport back home so at least this way we can uh, sort of reset and I'll get on to the next video so I think I might do the roof trials and we'll see how we do with that anyway um, appreciate you guys stopping by as always so check out the, all the other videos that I have to do with anima um, if you enjoyed this one hit the like button uh, comment down below and if you guys are wanting to see more consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway I'm out of here, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.